Okay, so today's video is something I've been wanting to share with you since I got back to Bombay from Delhi. I was in Delhi for Fashion Week for about five to seven days. I stayed a couple of days extra. Maybelline, one of the main sponsors of Fashion Week, actually introduced a lot of products to me as a little preview before they actually launched into the Indian market. The contouring products, the lip shades I'm wearing. Well, let's just say that being a blogger has its perks and I think I enjoyed them the most this season. I have a little pouch of magic right here. All the products that I've used to create my look today come from products that are inside this pouch. And if you want to know what exactly they are, you're going to have to watch this video. Just a little sneak peek by the way, the lip color that I'm wearing right here is something I made on my own from products that I have inside this pouch. So you want to watch this video right till the end. So the first product I have from the Maybelline pouch is this baby lips. So the Maybelline Baby Lips is one of my favorite products because I think it's really, really, really hydrating. Plus it kind of feels nice on the lips. You know you like lip balms that aren't too heavy but do the job right and I think this one is definitely that. Plus I have really dry lips so I think that if I like a certain lip balm it definitely matches my criteria. Next up, I'm going over to the eyes with the Lasting Drama Gel Liner. Now the Drama Gel Liner I know is available in a couple of colors. My favorite thing about it, of course, is the fact that it's so affordable. The Drama Gel Liner is a product that I've been using for really long. This is a new one, obviously. And uh, this one actually lasts for up to 36 hours, which I think is really, really cool. Um, it's a really nice gel pot. The packaging is really simple, really cute. It's a cute little gel pot. I have the color that's 01 Black comes with a little brush. Now my favorite thing about the brush is the fact that towards the tip it's really nice and pointed which is perfect to pick the gel up and of course if you're a wing liner sucker like me then you're going to love it because it's perfect for that sort of thing. So let's get to it. One of the biggest trends of the season is of course trying a winged eye in different ways but today I'm going to stick to the classic winged eye which I love the most. Now like you can see I barely used any product, I still have some product left on the brush which means that it really really spreads nicely. It's a super 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 flexible gel which also means that it's that much smoother to just sort of spread and go all over the lid. One of the things that I think a formula like this would be great for is to do a smoky eye. Uh, when I want to do a smoky eye, an all black smoky eye and I want to be a little quicker than normally than using just eyeshadows. Uh, I like to use a little bit of gel and pencil and then just smoke it out with some eyeshadow. So if you're interested in seeing that in one of my upcoming videos, let me know in the comment section below because that's something I can totally do and show you guys. And I think that's really, really quick as well. So the next product I have over here is the Lash Sensational Mascara. Now if you know me well enough, you know that I love mascaras and my favorite way of testing out how good a mascara is to always not curl your lashes and then try it. So I tried this very very recently maybe about two weeks ago and uh, obviously I didn't curl my lashes while trying it out because that's how I like to test it and I said I'm gonna see how good this is and how long it lasts and I was very impressed I know that worldwide statistically it's the world's number one drugstore product when it comes to mascaras but what I wanted to know was after all that I've heard about it how is it going to be for me with my personal experience and I genuinely wasn't disappointed at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how good the product is. I haven't curled my lashes and I'm just going to go ahead and try it. It's a gentle little curve. It's like a C but it's not really a C. What I like about it a lot is the fact that these little pokey things that are supposed to comb your lashes out are a lot of them and they're also all in different sizes which is perfect. So my favorite way of wearing mascara is to look at the mirror which I'm going to do right here turn sideways and then gauge the impact of the mascara on my lashes. You can actually see the product coming on and I think that really helps in understanding how good the product is holding on to those lashes. So let's do this. So like you can see, the product really doesn't require a second coat, it does its job in the first coat itself. I like to use it with a very, very, very delicate hand on the lower lashes because it's 
just really good and I got a little bit of a stain on my upper eyelid but I cleaned that out really fast so before it dries out you just have to clean it up if you make any boo-boos like me now here are two products that I'm really 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 excited to share with you the first one I have over here in my hands is the V Face Duo Stick it comes with a contour as well as a highlight end now a lot of the products that I usually use for highlighting and contouring are powder based. Uh, I feel like a lot of products that are cream based for highlighting and contouring in the market are really really expensive. But Maybelline's contouring and highlighting products start at 500 rupees which I think is really really commendable. Now this particular product that I have over here has become a favourite of mine because like you can see between both the edges. I've been using this to contour a lot. Um, I think that it blends really well. I think it's really really smooth and creamy. And I think we should just dive right in and I'm going to show you what it looks like after trying it out. I'm going to take the contour ends and gently draw my contour lines. I'm also going to go over to the highlighting in and use that side. Now after you've chalked out your highlighting and contouring lines with the help of the duo stick, Either you can just blend it in as is or with the help of a little bit of the contour powder you can sort of blend it in to make it set at the same time. I'm going to go for the first option because that's how I prefer to wear my makeup but you can do it either way. In case you're wondering why I didn't contour my nose and my forehead, it's because I just don't like to. I think I have a small head already and a pretty small nose so when I contour my forehead and my nose I feel like they're sort of non-existent so I'm just going to skip those. Now had I opted for option number 2, I'd be using the contour part of this blush contour kit over here. It comes with a cute little brush which is really cute and really easy. If you travel a lot then this is probably going to be your go-to because it has the blusher and the contour right in the same palette. Um, I however prefer to use my bigger brushes even when I travel but that's totally your call. To set your contour in, you can use the contour powder from here or you have yet another option. Your other option is the duo powder which basically is the exact same highlighter and contour option from your duo stick. The shade I have over here is the medium dark. Now personally I prefer to leave the contour as is without the powder because I think it gives a more natural finish but I'm definitely going to go ahead and use the highlight powder to seal my highlight in. To sort of add a little natural color to my face I'm going to use a mix of the light and the darker pink and just And now we're going to go into the really fun part, which is the lipstick. The three shades I have with me are Vivid 7, 8 and 2. I'm going to swatch each of these out for you and then I'm going to tell you all about the Vivid Lips Challenge. The first one I'm going to swatch for you is the Vivid 2 Neon Pink. It's a really, really pretty Barbie pink. It's a really, really pretty Barbie pink, the Vivid 2. What I also like about this formula is that it's really easy to apply. It also doesn't take too much effort to sort of glide across your lips, which is obviously a great thing. More so if you have dry lips like me. The next one I have is the Vivid 8. It's a really nice berry meets pink kind of shape. That's what I like about it. I would totally wear this for a desk to dinner kind of look. I think it's really, really feminine, but I think it's also the kind of color that would blend in with an androgynous look just as well. And the third lipstick that I'm going to swatch for you is the Vivid 7. Now this one is a nice fiery red, so I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. Now this red looks really, really cool. I think it's a red with just a tinge of orange, maybe even pink, which makes the color all the more interesting in my opinion. Now we're going to get to the fun Vivid Lips Challenge. So if you're as active as me on Instagram, you know that the Vivid Lips Challenge is all about coming up with your own Vivid Lips colour. What you need to do is take two of your favourite Vivid Lip colours. I'm going to go ahead and take 7 and 8, which are basically these two colours. You need to apply one on your upper lip, the other on your lower lip. You need to smack your lips together and you need to see the colour that you create. Now naturally, even if I take the exact same shades as 
you do. Our colors are bound to be a little bit different because it depends on how much product each of us has used, on which lip and how much lipstick product we like to use in general. So I'm gonna go ahead and make seven and eight and see what my vivid lips challenge brings to me. I'm going to put eight on my upper lip. And I'm gonna put seven on my lower lip. Well, now that I've got both my lip colors in place, which by the way, I'm loving as is. I might just walk out with two different lip colors one of these days. All I need to do is smack my lips together and see what my Vivid Lips Challenge color brings to me. Okay, so I like this color. I think it's a really interesting reddish pink or pinkish red. I can't quite place it yet and I hope it's looking the same as it is to me in the mirror as it is looking to you on the camera. It has just a tinge of a carrot finish which I really like. Um, would I wear this out? I definitely would. I think that my favorite thing about making a lip color like this is that I can easily manipulate it by adding any of the lipsticks that I like. Um, I love both the colors that I have in my hand. They're easily one of my favorites. So I'm definitely a little confused about which one I would add more. But yeah, I love this color. And I would highly recommend that you guys try something like this as well. And let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. But before I let you go, I just want to share with you one of my favorite new liquid matte lipsticks, which is also from the new range by Maybelline, which is from the 24 hour super stay range. Now, if you follow me very actively on Snapchat or Instagram, you'll know that I wore this shade at Fashion Week. The product comes with a lip balm on one end, which is really cool because, like I said, dry lips for me. And the other end is the liquid lipstick. I'm going to really quickly make a swatch of this. The shade I have over here is the 050. I'm going to go ahead and add this swatch on for you. I wore the products from the Superstay range to a lot of days at Fashion Week and I found that this matte is really, really good. Um, considering that I have dry lips, one of my biggest problems with, with matte lipsticks, with liquid matte lipsticks to be particular, is the fact that they dry my lips up even more and really easily. I did not face that issue with this product, which is a great thing. I did need about one or two touch-ups a couple of times after I ate. Uh, but I don't mind that because I think that the colors and the price factor makes it totally worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did while filming it. If you have any specific feedback, want me to do the smoky eye look with the help of these products, or have a particular look you have in mind that you want me to use products from and show you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget that I do a lot of my sneak peeks of new videos and blog posts on Snapchat and Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. See you guys next time. <laughs>